Hello, welcome to other GTV South Sudan Global. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe as we'll continue to bring you informative videos. Who is Joseph Bangasi Bakosoro? Bakosoro is not your average politician. He is the former governor of Western Equatorial State and the current Minister of Presidential Affairs. In 2010, Sudan's general elections, Bakosoro defied the SPLM's political gravity when he contested as an independent gubernatorial candidate and won massively. Bakosoro showed South Sudanese his political brilliance by sending Chemanunu Kumba into political Siberia. Years later, President Kiir and his entire SPLM machinery bullied Bakosoro, even to the extent of jailing him. President Kiir's security agencies jailed Bakosoro for allegedly financing the Aero Boys, a group of local armed young people in Western Equatorial State. After his release from prison on April 27, 2016, he formed his political party, the South Sudan National Movement for Change SSNMC, which joined the South Sudan Opposition Alliance. In 2021, Bakosoro joined the SPLM AG in the wake of a revitalized transitional government formation in 2018, Bakosoro was appointed Minister of Public Service. Last year, 2023, President Kiir appointed Bakosoro as Minister of Presidential Affairs. Recently, at the opening of the Nile Fed Corporation building, Bakosoro lectured President Kiir like a kid on the need to build the vibrant human resource development. You can tell the discomfort from the looks of Phil Marshall, Dr. Tut Kell, alias Lut Kell, and President Kiir. In this analysis, we have analyzed four actions Bakosoro must take. Number one, resign from the government. The discomfort registered on the basis of President Kiir and Dr. Tut Kell means it is a matter of time before Bakosoro finds himself on the cutting board. In South Sudan, under President Kiir, the brainless are rewarded, but the brainy are punished. Bakosoro is a brilliant politician, and we believe he means well for the country. However, his honesty will be his undoing, as political traders do not want any saints among them. Very soon, they will come for Bakosoro. As such, Bakosoro should resign and join the public in demanding a change in the government. Number two, clean up his docket. Given that Bakosoro knows quite well that countries like South Sudan develop not because of mineral resources, but because of human resources, our public institutions are populated with an unqualified workforce. Knowledge and experience mean nothing in South Sudan. To succeed in South Sudan, you need connection minus skill or experience. The Ministry of Presidential Affairs has many personnel who got jobs due to their connections to President Kiir and power brokers in J1. Bakosoro should weed them out and employ competent South Sudanese while stabbing on the streets of Juba. Number three, revive his political party. Another option for Bakosoro is to revive his poli former political party the South Sudan National Movement for a Change. With possible expulsion from the SPLMRG, Bakosoro should read the signs of time very well. South Sudanese are yearning for a change. Bakosoro's party will give South Sudanese a platform to voice their concerns. Additionally, reviving his party in this electioneering year will give him more bargaining power. All in all, it is up to him to decide. Number four, continue being an independent voice in the government. Finally, Bakusoro may decide to stay foot in government while continuing to speak up. This option is the likely number one option for Bakusoro, assuming President Kiir and Dr. Tutkel brush aside his recent lecture. 
If Bakosoro decides to remain in government, we encourage him to petition President Kiir so that South Sudanese are allowed to express freedom of speech without fear. A human resource that is free is the one that devolves the country. Freedom breeds creativity. South Sudan under President Kiir is second to the well-known Hamid Kingdom of North Korea. In conclusion, these are some of the actions Bakosoro must take. There are others as well. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to the GTB South Sudan Global.